Hello and welcome. If you are looking for tips and tricks regarding boosting cars and the boosting tablet, this video is going to be for you. For one, using the boosting tablet is gonna be earning you a bunch of money. And for two, you're gonna be earning yourself a ton of free cars. So it's definitely one of those illegal hustles that is very worth the time. So anyways, let's go ahead and hop into the video so I can show you the ins and outs of boosting and the boosting tablet, as well as how to potentially boost with a friend. All right, so here we are in VLife RP. We'll go ahead and pull up our boosting tablet and get this show started. So in the boosting tablet, you have classes D, C, B, A, S. You're gonna start out in D class, and after 10 or 20, you will go to C class. Now you have your active boosting contracts. That's whatever you have active. In order to start receiving contracts though, you will have to first click start receiving contracts. I would say about every 20 minutes, one does pop up. Once you've accepted a contract, it'll come up here to the active boosting contracts area. And you have these three options. The play button is gonna go ahead and track where that vehicle's location is via a red circle and you obviously have the name of the vehicle and the license plate. I would recommend Googling the vehicle first so you have a general idea of what you're looking for. And once you hit start, you can go ahead and head on over there. Now it won't be marked on the map unless you hit this play button. If you wanna invite your friends to join with you, you would hit this little person's button and this is the ID. It looks like one, two, one, eight, nine. And you would give them that ID, how it would look for them is it says join group and then you would enter that number in here and hit the uh, invite button then whoever started the contract would be able to accept you into the boost the third option here is if you wanted to keep the car so let's say we wanted to keep this car it's going to cost us 21 coins in order to keep it and we can confirm or cancel if we want if we do confirm that and we don't finish this boost we still lose the coin so if you are going to confirm make sure you go and get that car um, you can check your coins by heading over to store it's right here in the corner you also have other items that you can purchase although typically I just go for cars themselves there's another option this gift box is how you can gift a contract let's say your friend has coins and they're looking for a certain vehicle and that vehicle pops up on your tablet you can accept it and then go ahead and send it to them via their identifier number you can find your identifier number by heading over to user profile and it is located right here. This is also where you can go ahead and change your name on the leaderboards. And finally, the X, of course, is just how you cancel out that contract. History is pretty self-explanatory. This is just all the cars that you have boosted. As you can see, I typically only boost Bs nowadays just because Bs have much higher rewards than Cs by a long shot. So. Um, it definitely rewards you the higher you go. Now we can hop into an active boost just for all you who haven't done a boost yet. I'll give you some tips and tricks on how I typically find the cars. And yeah, let's do it. All right, so now we spawned at apartments, hopped in our car, and we are off to go search for this car. So when we check our map, there's gonna be this circle here and the car can be located anywhere in the circle. Typically, it's gonna be connected to a road within the circle. So if you just drive on all the back roads and roads on the map, you will eventually find it as I do here. I Googled this vehicle beforehand, so I had a general idea of what it looked like. You're gonna go ahead and hop out and check the license plate. You will wanna at least have two lock picks because you're gonna need to lock pick this vehicle and then you'll probably need to lock pick a vehicle after you do the delivery. And of course, after you lockpick, you will have to search for the keys. Then we're looking for the red vehicle. That is the drop-off location. And here we are. Delivery just about done. Some quick, easy money and some quick, easy crypto. Bada bing, bada boom. So that about wraps it up for this video all about boosting if you have any questions feel free to comment down below also if you have any recommendations for other tutorial videos within v life rp also let me know please consider leaving a like or a subscribe because it would be greatly appreciated and if not no worries see you guys next time bye